Get out the skilled boys some flour and grease. We're gonna have us a rabbit to eat. What's going on, guys? Tyson Anderson. <laughs> Mr. Hammerdown. Listen, guys, what we have right here is between a five and six year old female named Tulsa. I know I have her full, uh, uh, all of her paperwork right here in front of me. Um, I, I do forgive me for, for that. The owner of her still has possession of that. Um, he sent me numerous copies, but I've just been all over the place. This female is gonna be directly out of field champion, Stillwater Uncle Ben, and a female named Shorts Princess. She was bred by Mr. Mario Santoro, one of, you know, one of those older uh, uh, school beaglers that we talk about all the time. I mean, just some of the oldest stuff that you can think of. He's the same guy that had that Weir Creek Sherry dog. You guys may remember, may not. She was out of Mark 5's Ace in the Hole and Weir Creek Stevie. You're talking about some of the oldest Fish Creek Jones, Leanne's Ruff, Weir Creek Crystal, uh, Weir Creek Sassy Gabby. Those dogs going back to Parkland, uh, Parkland Babs, uh, 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 Weir Creek Buzz, Maple Sugar Boogler, uh, Boogler uh, 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 just some of the oldest dogs you can think of. Uh, Adirondack Antoinette, Fish Creek Rudolph. I mean, some of you guys remember those dogs, but anyway, this dog right here uh, is is a com com uh, compilation, excuse me, of old school Fish Creek, um, modern Fish Creek being Dingus McCray, um, uh, Ace in the Hole, uh, Bonefish Tom, I mean, just some of the oldest stuff you can absolutely think of. Major, all this stuff is behind this dog. But this dog is a 11-time Mark V Ace, excuse me, 7-time Mark V Ace in the Hole female. She's got Mark V Ace in the Hole in, in her uh, seven times in a, in a five-generation pedigree. She's got um, uh, Fish Creek Andy, excuse me, she's got Fish Creek Andy in her uh, roughly 13 times, and I just stopped counting at six, uh, six generations, I mean, sorry, seven generations, 13 times Fish Creek Andy. Here's Fish Creek Andy. Now, a lot of guys don't remember this dog. He produced some of the greatest dogs that there were to ever produce, right? He's in majority of everybody's pedigree. I don't care what style of dog you've got, whether it's large pack, small pack option, UBGF, gun dog brace, he's, a lot, he's in a lot of those dogs. He helped solidify the base of a lot of dogs, guys. So anyway, that female is bred to the hilt. If you look at Mark Five Ace in the hole, you're talking being out of field champion Mark uh, Mark Five Snoopy, field champion Salt uh, Salt River Wrinkle, I believe. Um, those dogs going back to Fish Creek, Mister Jones, um, some of uh, uh, Mister Joe Wingate, uh, Joe Ensign's El uh, Elvira, uh, the Mountaineer Susie dog, Gray Line Mike, Gray Line Hannah, Indian Hills Major. Julie's Hustling, Sally May. I mean, old school breeding. This premier is probably one of the oldest Fish Creek, I'm not going to say the, but one of those oldest Fish Creek bred dogs, major uh, uh, ace in the hole, uh, Fish Creek Andy type of dogs. And I'm fumbling around because I'm going off the top of my head, not looking at something. I don't have anything to actually look at uh, on this dog, but she's a absolute dandy of a dog, guys. Absolute dandy of a dog. Um, as far as bred, uh, my buddy and, and dear longtime friend and client that owns this female purchased her from Mr. Uh, Santoro. This jip was started. She was running when she was a young dog, but she ended up going uh, to, to the pen, you know, to the kennel and wasn't ran anymore. Needless to say, we got her down here. They bred her before. She produced good dogs. I think she's got two field champions actually out of uh, the first two crosses. Nobody really pushed her. We got her down here. Boom. Bred her right here to the Kiss Black Thunder. Uh, some of you guys that have remembered him, he's been a monumental dog in just the development um, of Sissy, the sharpening of Sissy, the development of Letty. He actually helped start her, Anderson's Two-Tone Jones, m many of the dogs that we've had come through here. Uh, uh, the booty dog, uh, Southwoods booty call. Um, she was already a broke dog when she came here. I'm not trying to take anything away from what Jake Richards did. Uh, kudos to him and shout out to him. Um, but... We bred her to Kiss Black Thunder. Kiss Black Thunder, excuse me, is going to be out of Windy Ridge Dancer and Sagamon Ridge Jessamine. He's about four or five crosses of, of field champion Rabbit Ridge, New York Nick. Um, today, he's about 31% New York Nick. He's more than that of a grandson, okay? Those puppies right now, uh, well, this female right now is, is bred by him. They will be made available. 
just as soon as she drops. She's due here in the next two and a half, three weeks. Um, get with me. Here's my number for you guys that don't know my number. Get with me, and I would be more than happy to oblige. Oh, and I almost forgot, guys. These dogs should be on the edge of a strong medium to borderline medium fast, big noses, good hunt, great line controls, uh, control, and great mouths. Uh, like I said, uh, 252-481-3014. Next, we have Moccasin Holler Ivy. This female was whelped July 1st, 2016. She's going to be off of Clemens Bunny Bustin' John and Hayes' Ginger 2. Uh, this, the, uh, the John dog is going to be off of Clemens Bust, uh, Bunny Bustin' Tex and uh, Hunting Beagle Champion, Grand uh, Rabbit Champion, and Progressive Champion, uh, Pack Champion, I'm sorry, Clemens Ellie Buster. And uh, the the ginger female is a grand uh, progressive pack champion. She's going to be off of dancing uh, rabbits tough and turkey ridge Maggie May. This female is pretty much old school uh, cottontail breeding. She is seven years old, is out of shape, needs to be ran up. I'm going to give whomever uh, per the owner's request. Uh, three to four week trial on this dog. She is AKC and UKC registered. Okay, here are her AKC papers right here. And here are her UKC papers. Like I said, she's a seven-year-old dog, broke. Uh, probably about a seven-speed dog, just needs to be ran up. But you're going to get three weeks to four weeks of a trial period with this dog to check her out. She's deer broke. Uh, he says she will have maybe an extra bark or so if she's laid up. Big nose. Uh, but solid dog. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Moving right along, we have Bickett's Red Tail Gypsy. She's a dandy, guys, uh, of a dog uh, here. Uh, probably about a five, upper five speed dog, maybe six, ran up. She's out of field champion gun dog, Kimbrel's Kick 'em Up Kane. That's right. She's a direct daughter, guys, of Kane and Lance's Showtime Sally. This female uh, was whelped May 1st, 2015. Okay, she's an older dog. There'll be a price break on that dog, of course. She's raised some uh, puppies. I think she's got a couple dogs that's almost made field champion, maybe even made field champion. I haven't solidified that or verified any of those things, but also been laid up five or six months. Uh, all these dogs came from the same guy. Uh, uh, big nose, good hunt. Deer broke. I validated that all these dogs are collar broke, uh, but the time is going to take me to run those dogs up. I would rather place them in the hands of someone also per the owner's request. Someone is going to actually take them on and look at them, okay? Evaluate them with their pack. Evaluate them under their own eye and uh, measuring stick, okay? Uh, like I said, field, field champion Kimbrough's kick them up Kane. Lance's Showtime Sally. This is going to be the gypsy female. Uh, she's going to be made available. You'll get a three to four week trial with this dog. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Very interesting little male here. Uh, he's about eight, nine months old. I had to go and see exactly when uh, his owner said that he, he was whelped. But he's under a year. He's unstarted. He's out of field champion uh, gun dog Kimbrel's kick him up Jake. Uh, who's a grandson and great grandson to field champion gun dog Kimbrel's kick him up Kane, and his mother is going to be uh, I think it's Babanu's Blue Rocket. I might be messing the first name up. As I don't have the paperwork right here in front of me, um, but Rocket is directly off of field champion gun dog Kimbrel's Superfly Trick. Trick is the belly brother, littermate brother, guys. That's right to kick him up Kane. All right, her mother is a. Uh, 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 granddaughter or direct daughter, excuse me, of Meacham's shoelace. Okay, so she's old school, paycheck, snops, blue ninja on the bottom. My buddy was trying to add control and that hunt line, you know, running ability and all that with that hair style dog, and that's what created the rocket dog, uh, uh, right here. You guys have seen her and seen me run her. She's a solid dog, keep a rabbit going. Taking her back to the Jake dog, I'm pretty sure he tried to solidify the cane in that breeding. And so this dog's pretty much like a three-quarter cane dog with a quarter out of uh, Meacham's breeding or hair breeding. So this male's unstarted, guys. It'll be a, a price 
that will be uh, a reflection of his age, of his youth, all that stuff, and him not knowing anything at all. So uh, you might, you guys might want to jump on him. Next, we have Miss Velvet. This dog has not actually been registered uh, through AKC. She's still on puppy papers. Why? Your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea. I'm just the, the male man. I don't have anything to do with the male, uh, what comes in it, right? So this female was uh, whelped uh, July 2nd, 2018. She's five years old, going on five years old. She'll be five in July. Uh, she's off of Camp Creek Ready to Burn, which is the Ivy Dog's uh, belly brother, okay? Her mother is Camp Creek moving on Molly. All this is old school bunny busting type of stuff. Mr. Lee Clemens breeding, old school cottontail breeding. I, I really tip my hat to Mr. Lee Clemens, pardon me, on the, the dogs that he's been able to keep all these years. This is probably, to me, one of the better looking dogs of the of the running dogs that, that my buddy is actually and client actually is making available. Okay, uh, she's broke, good mouth, huge nose. Probably will get in trouble being that she's uh, been laid up for a while. He just hadn't had the time or uh, or whatnot to be able to uh, convince himself to run. Okay, for that sake, the dogs are being for sale, uh, being sold and, and offered for sale uh, because you know he just can't do it. He's limiting down and cutting down the numbers so that he can put time into other dogs. Right. So this female right here, like I said, she's a niece to the Ivy female. She is on puppy papers. Here they are right here, AKC puppy papers. And so uh, if we need to write a letter or whatnot, that, that's fine too. She's deer broke, collar broke. Three to four week trial. Three to four week trial. Last but certainly not least, we have Miss Rosie here. Whelped June 21st, 2020. She'll be three years old this year. She's nowhere near as far along as I think she should be, guys. So therefore, there will be a price cut there. She's directly off of Field Champion Large Pack, uh, uh, Green, Green Hills Red Dust, and Blue Bound Blue Girl. She's still on Puppy Papers, as you see right here. Uh, Green Hills Red Dust is is probably one of the better bred dogs that are of the Michigan, you know, descent. Um, in my in my eyes, pardon me, I like the way he's lined up on Spike. He's a double grand pup to Spike. He's out of he's directly out of Meacham's John Duncan. And field champion Meacham's Ballerina. John Duncan is directly out of near field champion Southwood Spike and field champion Crawford's Boots. And Meacham's Ballerina is directly out of field champion, uh, near field champion Southwood's uh, Spike and field champion Southwood's Brittany. So, you know, a lot of good stuff going on there, but the double Spike is what I'm after. I mean, I, I like that. And, and a lot of people talk about that dog. Um, this female's got a good mouth. Uh, she needs to be handled a lot more than what she's been. Um, I think a lack of socializing may have her in this little quandary that she's in. Uh, collar, put a collar on her. She's tone broke. She knows exactly what that is. Um, I, I think a person really just needs to run her. She's going to be on the faster side. She's probably faster than all the dogs that I just posted up that are running. Uh, probably needs a little bit more work than the rest of them, I would also say as well, because uh, she has not had the time on her like that. Therefore, she will be priced accordingly. I would not say that she's a turnkey broke dog, but she's a dog that is well on her way. Uh, okay. Um, really wants to run. Got a lot of go. Got a lot of drive. Uh, can't say enough about the dog. I, I think time in the field would make it more uh, or make it make, make more sense. Okay. Um, like I said, good mouth, good head on the shoulders, good nose, but just needs that time. Listen, guys, that's what we have. Tyson Anderson, <laughs> Mr. Hammerdown. Listen, 252-481-3014. Give us a call.